So Bitcoin continues to remain strong and we can start looking at altcoins now for some potential quick trades in the market. Remember guys, we're still doing trades in the market until Bitcoin really starts breaking some really big barriers. But like I mentioned in my last video and I'll link it above, Bitcoin is in a really good position and smart money has clearly come in to support the market. Now we can start looking at altcoin. The altcoin for the day is actually Travala. Now this is a crypto that not a lot of people know about, but this crypto has actually had a very, very good day yesterday, going up about 43% in one hour. Now there's a difference between a breakout with a bull flag and a breakout with a bear flag. So if we have a look at Travala to get code AVA, this one actually has a bit of a bull flag formation because you can see that around 10 o'clock yesterday, July 14th, Australian Eastern Standard Time, we had the pull up, but we didn't break down. We're still holding above our 50% at around that 70 cent mark, give or take. So there's your 50%, there's your 70 cent mark. And I actually did end up picking this up, full disclosure, because it looks quite good on a chart. So you can see I've drawn my bull flag, the wedge, and we're trading in between this wedge. And hopefully we start breaking out on the upside. If we start breaking out on the upside, my predictions for Travala at around that 82 cents at that 75 mark. And you can see that coincides with some resistance area there. If we get really lucky, we can start going for the triple top or double top, depending on your take at around that 94 cent mark. Of course, there is the barrier that we can keep going higher and a lot of cryptos have dumped. So you can really stretch this out. And I mean, maybe we get to something ridiculous like around that $1.35, $1.40. But take it as it comes, plan conservatively. This market still is, in my opinion, not ready to take off, but some altcoins do just go crazy out of nowhere. We see it every day in crypto, but these are the exception, not the norm. It's about protecting your profits and reducing your risk, not doing a Hail Mary trade, hoping for a 50,000 X. It's not really the way to go about it, especially in these market conditions. A opposite of this and a bear flag actually looks like something like Perlin, ticker code Pearl. This is actually a bear flag. So you can see there's your pump up. It got to, you know, over 100% at one point, but 92% in one hour. So again, this happens in crypto every day. There's these cryptos, but you can see it just dumped. And here is your bear flag formation showing. And we'll probably start testing it around that one cent mark somewhere here. And it's just, it just really looks pretty ugly. Stay away from it. You can get burnt quite quickly with these. So not all pump ups are created equal. Like I said, some of them go down, bear flag formation. Some of them stay up above their 50% and Travala is one of them. If we have a look at Travala against this BTC value, you can see a little bit of an inverse relationship compared to its USD value. Bitcoin has been in a very, very strong position, but you can see Travala is under the 50% against its BTC value being rejected at the hourly, not once, but twice you can see. So hopefully we can start getting momentum and start going up and start making a run against its BTC value at the 75 and the one mark. Again, just move your stop losses up. That's generally the way I trade. Sometimes I'll have profit targets, but generally speaking about 80% of the time, I will just move my stop loss up because you never know crypto can sometimes just keep going and keep going. So hence I prefer the stop loss method of going into the hourly, identifying support and resistance and keep tucking them underneath a few percentage points underneath the support area and just keep riding it out and seeing how high it can really go. And if it gets broken and it keeps going up, that's just probabilities and you take your chances and you move on. Again, it's about protecting your profits and reducing your risk and reducing your losses. It's always like that, but especially in bear market territory. But let's have a look. Let's see how long Travala takes to break out of this region. It could be breaking out in the next few hours. It could even be a day or so. It might violate this completely and dip below it. So identify support and resistance. So for me, my stop loss is around that 66 cent mark give or take. And at the moment, I'm just seeing how this brings out. But this is again, not trading advice or investment advice. It's just something that has actually looked pretty good today and a really good crypto that I'm looking at for the day. That's going to do it for this very, very short video. I hope it helped. And let's see how this one plays out. If you enjoyed this type of content, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. I'll be doing some more altcoin reviews. I plan on getting XRP because that one, and this is a little bit of a sneak peek, actually looks quite good for the time being. But until then, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there and I will catch you on the next video.